and six months ago, our next guest could barely swim. But now, at 75, Al Blaken is getting ready to represent Australia in the Age Group World Triathlon Championships. And Alf joins us right now. Alf, good morning to you. How are you, guys? Good morning. How yeah. fit are you? Uh, I'm, pr I'm pretty fit. I'm pretty fit. I do, I do a lot of training and keep yourself yeah, up there. How much training do you do? Talk us through your routine. Approximately an hour and a half a day. I, I do a day swimming and a, a day riding a bike and uh, and also running, and have I have Sundays off. That's a rest day. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> you're putting us to shame, Alf. I mean, you had some an enormous challenges because at one point you couldn't even walk. So tell no, us about that. It was about four years ago. Uh, the the feeling you're actually seeing there. It all happened just after that there, and uh, uh, I got a thing called Paget's disease, mm. which is in the bone right down the bottom and I could hardly walk 10 or 15 metres wow. but I kept running but the doctor has done a great job and uh, yeah, she's really nursed me all the way through and, and overcome it. How did your love for triathlons come about? Because it's a huge step to go from being someone who loves fitness and loves well, staying healthy right. to, go, to go and do triathlons. Well I joined uh, the Gold Coast Aquatic Centre, which is where the Commonwealth Games swimming is going to be. Oh, yeah. And, and they had a tri class there, and I thought, well, I'll try that. Yeah. And and, <laughs> and I, I went to the first class, and uh, they said, oh, you know, jump in the water, and 25 metres later, I was looking for the rope on the side because I, I couldn't get the full length of the pool. And I just fell in love with it. Then I'd done my first triathlon and loved that. The, so, so just remind us, when you're doing a triathlon, uh, what kind of distance is we, we covering in each? Yeah, at the World Championships, it'll be a 750 metre swim in open water, mm. a 20k bike ride and a 5k run. Wow. wow. Yeah. And your wife is also a keen athlete. She, she's, oh, yeah, she's, uh, she's just come back from Adelaide and, you know, well, there she is there. <laughs> yeah, she won a, a gold medal and a, and a uh, bronze medal over there. And, you know, she's a very good eight, but she's one of my greatest supporters. She's absolutely amazing. She puts up with a lot of garbage from me because <laughs> I've got to try and work my training in with hers. And yeah. No, 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 she's very... Do you train together? Uh, sometimes, but not often, no. No lack of stamina in this relationship. Unbelievable. No, that's right, yeah, that's right, yeah. And, and, and even the cat's pretty fit too. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know? yeah. what's interesting about it is that we're all guilty of making excuses when it comes to ex ex exercise. What mm. do you say to people who think they can't do it? Oh well, you know, every everyone can do something. You know, everyone can do something. And, and as you said, that's an excuse. And I think the biggest problem is putting a pair of shoes on and walking out the front door. Mm -hmm. People can't do that. Once you get out the front door, you've got to do something. Mm. Walk, skip, run, or go to the pool and do something. Mm. And, and, that, and chances are the next time you go out, you'll go a little bit further, a little, a little bit, bit faster. A little bit further, yeah. that's yeah. right. As you said in the open, if you don't use it, you'll lose it. Yeah. So, so you, this triathlon championship that you're involved in, the world championships, mm. are in Mexico? Me a, a place called Cozumel. Mm. Amazing. You're Cozumel. going to have a great time. Do you do push-ups? I tr try to sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Mainly it's up a bot. No. <laughs> <laughs> no Want to give us 50? <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> no. But uh, Alf has actually set up a GoFundMe page mm. to help him get to Mexico. So if you'd like to donate, go to GoFundMe.com and search.